This photograph drew me in right away because I'm very familiar with that room, uh, the sausage kitchen at the old Gloriosos, because from 1991 until 2016, I was a food safety inspector for the health department. So I spent a lot of time in meat departments, sausage rooms, restaurants, grocery stores, kitchens, and you know, these are portraits, and we're looking at the people in them, and, and, but my eye right away goes to equipment and <laughs> to surfaces, because that's, of course we had to deal with people, we dealt with people a lot, but my eye kind of uh, kicked back into training, and most people, if you go and look at a photo exhibit, you don't think of phrases like, smooth and easily cleanable, <laughs> or grandfathered, but um, I must have written that phrase hundreds, maybe thousands of times in, in 25 years, because the standard for a surface where you prepare food is that it is so smooth and non-porous that you can sanitize it, you can wash it down, and so it's like memory lane. It's like I look at this picture and I look at these nicks on the edge of the Formica table and I'm like, okay, did we grandfather that? Meaning that it met the requirements when it was installed in this meat department. This picture was taken in 75 or 76. So by the time I show up there in maybe 1994, it was an existing facility, but um, when you look at a little nick or cut like that to a microorganism, that's like the Grand Canyon. <laughs> you can stuff a lot of microbes in there. And so, you know, you spend half your life like, how bad is it? When do they put it in? When are we going to? And of course, you also take into account, well, these sausages are going to be cooked. These are not ready to eat sausages. So there's going to be a kill step, so it's not as bad if raw sausages come tumbling over there. <laughs> um, this is my mentality for 25 <laughs> years. <laughs> then you're looking at the tubs. How slashed up and bashed up are them? Is there paint peeling? That's not a food contact surface of the grinder. So it's like a lot of, it just kind of, um, throws me back into a certain state of mind. And um, in these old meat rooms, you had a sink back there, you could do everything in it. You could wash your trays, wash your hands. Can't do that now, you have to have a dedicated sink. But, um, so these are the kind of things I think about. That's not smooth or easily cleanable. When did we get rid of that? Well, if you go into the current Gloriosos on Brady Street, all you're gonna see is stainless steel tables everywhere. That is the standard. But the other thing I remember is that um, sometime in the early 2000s, when the uh, food code was updated, we had to do a much more in-depth review of sausage preparation. And, you know, the, uh, a grinder or a mixing paddles, that stuff can stand up to a lot of wear and tear. That equipment is built really uh, sturdy, but eventually metal fatigue sets in. Again, you're like, oh, it's pitted, it's pitted. Mm. When are they, this is expensive equipment, but I do remember that Felix Glorioso uh, sent us a little note and a picture when metal fatigue finally like blew part of the grinder to bits. And he was kind enough to communicate with us that, yeah, it's, it's done. So anyhow, that's what I see when I look at this portrait, is uh, surfaces that are no longer smooth and easily cleanable. <laughs> <laughs>